Mr. B. She City Multi Error Code twenty five oh two. Okay, let's go. So with this error code, usually this error code is going to be associated with a with a ducted type unit. This is a PEFY model. You can see I got air filters. It is a ducted type unit, right? This is the unit right here, All right? And here's your duct, duct work, refrigeration lines, drain lines. So this basically saying 2502 error code is basically saying that your internal drain pump had failed or, or the water level inside of the internal drain pan is, high, is too high. So there's a float switch inside of the pan and it's right behind this panel right here. So we're gonna go ahead um, and open this pot cover right here to, ex to, to, to expose the pump, the condensate drain pump. So the drain pump is back there. Also, we has a, there, there is a float, float switch. And if the water level inside of this pan right here is too high, you're gonna see, because I'm gonna open this bug in a little bit, to relieve the water. Um, if the water level is too high, so the pump is not pumping out, so this is the pump discharge, and I don't see any water moving through that. All right, so yeah, um, the pump failed, the water builds up, the float goes up, and we're gonna trigger that 2502. All right, so yeah, let's, let's open up and expose the pump. Let's open up right here. Now one, two, Three screws, three screws. These screws right here. That's that's what's holding the pump. This is what's mount the pump. The pump mount. This one right here, and this one right here. Those are the pump mounts. All right. So let's open these three. Get this cover off. Okay, so once you're getting this alarm, guys, it means that either your pump has failed, there's your pump right there. This right here is your pump. If your pump has failed, the float is stuck in the up position or in the high position, or the inlet of the pump is clogged up. All right? Or last but not least, you could have a blown, a blown fuse on the control board. See if I could find a fuse in the later. It's panel right here. There's a blown, it could be a blown fuse because there's a fuse. There's a fuse, I think there's a fuse on this board here that feeds that pump. I think so. Uh, we have to double check on the schematic. But uh, I believe there's a fuse on the board that feeds that pump. The board in the back, not this board. The board in the back, down there. I'm going to draw for my schematic. Okay, but in this case, the fuse is fine. Because I can feel that the pump motor is warm. I stick my hand in there. And let's see the water level. Looks like a lot of water. That's a lot of water. Yeah, definitely this pump is not pumping out. That's a lot of water right there. A lot of water. So, uh, let's see. I don't know if it's right now. You can see that it's in the middle. It's a lot of water. And the float is right there. Float right there, shaking around that white round plastic right there. It's a float. It's very it's high. It's floating in the wind. Well, in this case, water. Yeah, so that's why we have this error code. You could reset it as many times as you want. It's going to come right back until you address the problem. 
So what I'm gonna do now, guys, actually, you can look right here, you can see the float. There it is, there's the float. That's the float assembly right there. Right there, that piece right there, goes down, right there. So it's, it's attached in the corner right here. Usually when you're chain replacing the pump, you replace the pump and fluid assembly. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do, oftentimes is just sludge in the pan. Because once the pump is running and the inlet is very small, like the size of my finger, as the opening of the pump. The tip of my the tip of my finger, the opening is a very small hole. So sludge and dirt can easily clog that, that, that inlet of the pump and then it stops pumping and then the water builds up. And then like you can see right here actually see that float right there it's it's a uh, right there is up there it is right there I'm gonna zoom in give you a bit a few of it right there that pump that float is up okay look at that water all that water another view for you guys you wanna see it again Let me go ahead now, what I'm gonna do, um, I don't need to check voltage to my pump because my pump is getting voltage. When I stick my hand in there, I can feel the uh, the motor is very warm and I can feel it, I can feel it vibrating, so I know it's running, okay? So in this case, it's not a fuse, not a board issue. My fan, my sub evaporator fan is running, as you can see, right in here, okay? So I'm gonna pull off this right here and release all that water, stay tuned. Okay, so I have this trash bag set up right here. And I'm hoping to God that this bag is doesn't have a hole in it. It's a brand, it's a brand new trash bag. But you never know. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove this bung right here to release the Kraken. Release the Kraken. Slowly pull it up. Ooh, wow, you can see that. At least I got control. In case the trash bag is leaking, I can control the water. There's going to be a lot of water, because you can see from the from the from the earlier, there's a lot of water in there. The float is the float was up, so it could be just a bad pump or it's just clogged up. I don't know. Seems like it's holding. Seems like my bag is holding, so I'll keep on. There's a lot of water here, man. Okay, let me just go ahead and pause. There's a lot of water. So I'm using my knee to support it. I don't want this bag breaking in me. So you can see the bottom of the pump right there. I'm gonna come back whenever the water is completely drained. But if you look, that little, that little round part. That's the inlet of the pump. That little round plastic piece that's sitting down in the bottom there. It looks like it's clogged up. Let me go into this water, man. This is crazy. There's a lot of water in here. This thing goes pop. I'm screwed. Check this out. Isn't this crazy? Is it recording? Yeah. It's a lot of water. OK, 
to you, so I'm back, baby. I've emptied the bag. Let's get some more water to this bad boy right here. Oh, I see that it's just spilling more and more. When is this thing gonna stop? A lot of water. Okay, this is getting crazy, so I'm gonna try to wrap my the bag secure a little bit. So I'll show you guys in there. Woo! I think the pump is just clogged up. Look at that. What do you guys think? Comment in the comment section. Let's get, ah, there you go. Look at that. That's the inlet of the pump. Clearly, it is clogged. I'm gonna try to get something in there and like clean that out. Try to stick something in there. Maybe a brazing rod or a screwdriver. Got some wire right here. I'm gonna try this wire. Try this. If that will click. I can clean it out with that. Yeah, here you go. Ooh. All right, now. I think I cleared the pump. Inlet. Oh, that's clear. That's clear. Compared to before, comment. What do you guys think? It's clean right now. Here's a trick. Let's see if this thing is going to be pumping out now. Let's reset it now. See? So the unit is back online and uh, the unit is back online and uh, I don't know, I don't see any, any water going through there but the level of water is probably just low. Right, so the level of water is just probably just low, too low for the pump to siphon it. You can see that really low right now. The water level compared to what it was before. Comparison. So I guess I'm have to wait for the water to build up in the pan before I can see if it's going to be pumping. Right? But I, I mean, you can clearly see that the cooling is on because the coil is sweating. It's only a matter of time before the level of the water is going to build back up to this and reach the top of the pump. I won't open this anymore because my plastic bag is gone. But I'm going to show you a tip real quick. There's a quick tip right here, right? If you want to test the, the fan and the pump simultaneously with the thermostat or the RC off, you can simply take this jumper from SWE and move it from the off position 
SWE move, move it from the off position to the on position so you just simply take this jumper and move it over one and then it's going to be it's going to put your drain pump on and your supply fan all right so i'm just going to wait and see what's going to happen if it's going to pump out i don't know it's, it's going to build the water because when you when i drain from here i'm taking everything all the way to the bottom of the pan so it's way it's like this much below this much below the uh where, where the pump siphons from all right so let's see stay tuned i think this video right here if you if this video had helped you out if you have learned something from this you know, give it a fat like all right subscribe as well if you haven't subscribed yeah 2502 error code baby so if this doesn't work what you do these two screws right here you remove that remove that these two screws and then you can take this whole the whole pump assembly pump with the float assembly will come out you pull it you pull it out you pull it out through this hole right here and there's this little this this black tube right here it's a discharge from the pump and it goes right here okay so when you pull the pump out there's a little clamp on the bottom of the pump when you pull it out on the side of the pump connects to it, just loosen that up it's like a zip it's like it's a zip tie loosen up pop that off take your pump and you can replace your pump the pump doesn't come with this bracket though this is the mounting bracket right uh, it comes uh, separate you loosen these two screws once you take the mounting bracket out you take it take it take the pump out with the uh, mounting bracket attached to the pump and then once it's out you can take the mounting bracket off uh, to access the pump Right. These are some vibration el eliminators, blase blase, that's that. Pretty straightforward. So guys, I'm not gonna hang around here and wait, and wait for this. I'm going to uh, pause this video off, and I'm gonna just, if, the, if it doesn't work, eventually just build back up, and the arrow code will come back. Clearly you can see right now, we're cooling, because there's water there. The cooling is on, right? The cooling is definitely on. But if the pump is not working, the, uh, the level of the water is going to build back up and hit the float. It's just going to pop right off. Okay. Right. So, uh, I'm going to do is close this video off. I'm just going to go ahead and order a pump. I know that I can't go wrong with that. I mean, whether this works or not, I'm still going to have another pump ordered for the client. Um, and they just keep it a spear if they don't want to. Whatever. I'm not gonna sit around here and wait for this thing to start pumping or for the level to be built up because I gotta go, baby. I gotta go.